This is the Wittime Indoor-Outdoor Wireless Weather Station. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the instruction manual. They give you the power adapter here. Plugs into a regular outlet uh, to a barrel jack connector. Three AAA batteries, two AA batteries. The outdoor sensor that will transmit. Here is the unit itself. It is a color display. This is just one of those stickers that you got to peel off like that. That's on there. And this is for desk mounting. Of course, it is wall mountable as well. And if you wanted to do desk mount, this just snaps on the back. I want to just show you that because that's how I'm going to be doing it here. See, it's wall mountable right here. You have two uh, openings for screws. And this has rubber pads there, so you want to put it so that's going to be down like that. And your power adapter will go through there. So you got to feed that through to plug it into the jack, and then you can put this stand on. And it just snaps in with the little clips there into these holes right here. And your batteries will go in there. The batteries are for memory backup. It's not absolutely necessary to use them. On the top you have a bunch of buttons, mode to allow you to set uh, the clock and things like that. The channel button which will allow you to select the wireless sensor. You can have up to three of them. Two more are available as separate purchases. You can set an alarm if you want. Snooze button for that which will also control the light and the up and down. So very easy to set. You just hold the mode button. The time will start flashing up and down to set the time mode again, you can set the date, etc, etc, and you just go through, put the batteries in the wireless sensor first, and then plug the clock in, and yes, I said plug the clock in. Why? Well, there you go. It's a color backlit screen. I'm going to get the tripod so I can show you this better. So you can have the light off, or you can turn the light on, and you also have a higher brightness mode like that. You can see on the left side you have your outdoor temperature and humidity, your date down over here, your time, atmospheric pressure, this is a forecast center over here, I'll talk more about that in a moment, and on the right side you have the indoor temperature and humidity and of course you can set an alarm as well. You'll notice that the outdoor temperature has just gone down because I've placed the sensor outside. That can be placed up to 300 feet away. This is the weather station you've been waiting for. A lot of these are out there and people want the backlight on all the time. They just want to be able to look at this thing. It's already on and there and not have to go up to it and press a button and make the display on and that. And that's why it plugs in. So it must remain plugged in. So if you're mounting it on the wall, you're going to have to find some way to run the wire as well um, because it must be plugged in. The batteries that go in the unit are just for battery backup to retain the information. Now let's talk about the forecast right in the upper center over here. That's showing what the current trend is. Now, it is based off of the atmospheric pressure which is currently sitting at 29.90. Over the course of a few days, and it will take a few days for this to happen, the pressure is going to change. It does all the time. Throughout the day it changes, as a matter of fact. And over a few days, it's going to see all of that information. And this forecast display is going to update itself as time goes on to let you know what the general idea of the weather is going to be forthcoming. So all around it's a great clock, stays on, you can see it, it's a bright vibrant display even on the low setting like that it looks great. It's a lot more apparent in real life than the camera can make it out to be but it's a lot dimmer on the uh, lower setting like that. You can see the outdoor has gone down again because like I said it's getting that information as time goes on and that way you can see it or you can set it on high and leave it like that and the light will stay on 
which is something that everybody always wanted and here it is but like I said the trade-off is it has to be plugged in the reason it's not going to run on batteries and leave the light on is that is going to drain the batteries so it's that simple all around a great weather station from Wittime. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.